Hi guys, and welcome to my review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, another great movie from my childhood, which is now 10 years old, and it still holds up, especially with the animation, because a lot of movies back then you know, didn't really have that great of animation, but this is one of the, you know, good ones from back in the 2010s, well, basically, basically the beginning of the 2010s, you know, 2010, <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of like how it combines, you know, live action and, you know, I guess, retro games. Well, Scott Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim was kind of retro-inspired, even though it kind of came out, not in the retro times, but I said, like... Because I can't remember when the actual game came out again, but, you know, for people who, I guess, played the game, they kind of know that it got taken out of the stalls, like... So the only way you can play it is by emulator, which I guess I could play that sometime next year. Early next year as well. Yeah, that would be fun. But yeah, I guess I'm reviewing the movie for now. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, if you've never seen it before. And yeah, I'll say when I'm going to talk about spoilers, because I'm going to talk about, you know, the basically the basic plot, and then the cast, and then spoilers, and then final thoughts. That's how it normally goes. And I'm trying to make these reviews faster too. But yeah, definitely love this movie still. And I kind of still have the same opinion with how the movie, you know, with how I wish the movie ended, and there is an alternate ending. So yeah. Also, when I review I Am Legend someday, it's kind of similar, where I'm not really a big fan of the original ending, and I wish they went with, um, well, with that movie, it it, it could it could have had its well book ending, but it decided to go with a completely different ending. That kind of ruins the story for me now. When I first watched it, I was like, okay great movie and then second time I'm like oh man they should have sex with the alternate ending and this is like it's the same with Scott Pilgrim they should have went with the alternate ending that would have been so much better and I've never finished the game so I'm not really sure how that ends so yeah but yeah I'm just gonna get into the story then before I start before I start talking about the cast and then spoiler stuff so yeah basically um, Scott Pilgrim, the main character, uh, gets with a girl who's in, like still in high school because Scott Pilgrim is like twenty two years old, and I kind of like how, as we you know meeting the characters, it kind of shows their age and everything, <laughs> and what they do, even in like even in, when you're looking at backgrounds, they kind of show details on that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like on games where you're looking at an item and it kind of shows what it is. <laughs> That's the cool thing about the Scott Pilgrim movie. Yeah, it's just, it's definitely a lot like a game. If you're a gamer, then you, yeah, you'd notice a lot of things that gives off, that gives off game vibes. Even retro games. <laughs> Even if you're not a retro gamer, you'll probably notice stuff like that. Also, when they Basically, when, there's, when the fight scenes happen... Well, I should talk about the story first, anyway, before I start talking about fight scenes and stuff. But yeah, there's like, spe- you know... You know, like in comics where it's like power and all that. It's kind of like that with this too. In some games it's like that as well. But yeah, I'm just going to get to the story. So yeah, Scott Pilgrim basically, like I said, has a high school girlfriend. But then he seems like he likes her at first. But as time goes on, it seems like he's getting bored of her. Or they're not really connecting. Because it seems like they was getting on that first. And then Scott Pilgrim just has a dream about some girl. And then he actually meets the girl. Then after that, it's just like, man, I need to dump this high school girl that I'm going out with, which... Is her name Knives? Yeah, I think her name's Knives. I think she's a playable character in the game as well. But yeah. So he's basically trying to... Well, I don't want to talk too much about the story, but it's obviously going to happen because you've probably seen it in like the trailer or something back in the 2010. So it's kind of obvious that he wants to be with his um, current girlfriend to be with this... You know, and it kind of goes with the story anyway, so to be with this girlfriend that, he's, that, that he now has a crush on, and they can't really fully be together until he fights these seven evil exes, which is, you know, the main story. So he has to fight all of these exes to actually be with her. And But yeah, I'm just going to talk about the cast now before I go any further. But yeah, it's definitely a great film if you've never watched it before. And I definitely highly recommend it. Alright, so for the cast, we have uh, Michael C. Sarah as Scott Pilgrim. I sometimes get him mixed up with Jesse Heisenberg. Well, I did back when I was a kid. Like, I was thinking, are, the, are those two the same actors? So, I didn't really realise <laughs> back then. But yeah, I know now. And then there's Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Ramona Flowers. The one that he wants to get rid of his girl. Or, like, 
current girlfriend and you know to be with her and you know fight the evil exes so yeah she, i guess she's like the second most important character again well i guess well she is the most important important character for the plot but yeah and then there's chris evans as lucas lee <laughs> well, well, well it's just a very memorable performance other than captain america which you know everybody knows him as but yeah lucas lee he's basically like playing as a hollywood actor in the movie so kind of fall for anyway <laughs> but man he just seems like in reality well i don't say i wouldn't say he's a douche like this other character that you know another evil ex that we're gonna see who i guess is popular he's like the cool guy and i just like his personality <laughs> you even get to see like some fake movies of you know what, what he's been in in the spot the scott pilgrim world yeah julie powers Oh yeah, Gideon. Yeah, Gideon. Yeah, he's like the main evil ex, like the one who's actually. Well, I can't really reveal too much about that, but he's. I'd say he's like the the main evil ex who you know Scott has to fight in the end, and that's what I'm going to say for now until you know spoilers. Alison Pill as Kim Pine, yeah, one of uh, Scott Pilgrim's friends, and there's more to her as you know I talk about the movie, and then there's Ellen one as Knives Chow, you know, like Scott Pilgrim's you know beginning girlfriend in the movie who, well, like, I just don't want to talk too much about the story yet, yeah. And I don't think it's shown all of the ones who are actually in the movie, so. Oh, yeah, uh, Kiwi and Culkin, Wallace Wells. That's kind of, a, yeah. I did not was thinking before <laughs> when I first watched the movie, but, yeah. Uh, never mind, but, yeah. He's basically like um, Scott Pilgrim's roommate because he lives with him. Yeah. Then yeah, he's, he's kind of a fun character. But yeah, Brandon Ralph as uh, Todd Ingram. Like I know this guy from you know Superman Returns. I've only watched that movie ever like once, but it was kind of cool to you know to see that version of Superman come back in you know Crisis on Infinite Earth. Yeah, and he also plays as Atom. You know, in the CW universe. Well, the hour verse, but they've kind of changed it recently. And I guess, you know, the actor of our Stephen Amell isn't really happy with that. We have uh, Anna Kendrick as Stacey Pilgrim. I kind of forgot she was in this movie. Yeah. And Brie Larson? Um, I can't remember. Because I remember when I was watching this movie again. I can't, I can't remember what time she actually appears in the movie. Lol. <laughs> Hmm, the rest of the cast. You know, some of them are the evil ex scenes, like there's twins as well. Yeah. I feel like the rest are just like background characters again. <laughs> like the crowd and stuff. Since, you know, Scott Pilgrim's in the rock band, but yeah. What else can I tell before I get into spoilers then? Because, yeah, some, some, of, some of the cast are, you know, his friends who he does music, you know, with. Because, yeah, Kim uh, is a part of the rock band, you know, Scott. And who's who's, who's the other guy? I don't know if it was uh, Stephen Stills. Like, he was a part of it as well. Could you say he's, like, the boss? I don't know. Is it even the boss? And then there was uh, the younger guy as well. Yeah, I can't even see him right now, but... I, I don't know if it was Crash. <laughs> but, yeah. So there's not really much I can talk about now. All I can say, like I said before, I just highly recommend the movie if you've not seen it before. Because I don't really want to spoil the movie for you if you've never seen it. And there's a chance that you might not have played the game because they got removed from the store on PS3 back then. And the only way to play it is, you know, emulator, which I'll be playing it. It was cool to play it on per sec with people. Like, playing that game with four players is just amazing. <laughs> and the music, ah, I just can't wait to get to it. But yeah, I guess that's it for now with, you know, non-spoilers. I'm going to be getting into spoilers now. Alright, so I'm going to talk about spoilers now, and I'm just going to go through this fast, but yeah. Because I don't want the review to be too long, like, I'm, like I've been saying, yeah. I just want it to be like 15 minutes at the most, not like going over to like 20 to 25 minutes, but yeah. So when he first, you know, in, well, he first sees the girl. Um, yeah, when does he actually first see her? Because I know that there's a, there's a time where he's dreaming about her, then he just sees her again, but she's like, she, I think she has a job at Amazon or something, <laughs> and she's like delivering his post. And he find, finds out that from, you know, from gossip and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah. He then asks her out. 
Well, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like this was the first time he met her, you know, in this image here. But it didn't really <laughs> go anywhere. But I feel like the the part where she was delivering something for him, that's when he was able to ask her on a date. Since he kind of forced her, otherwise he wasn't really going <laughs> to accept his password, I guess. But then, like, she actually shows up instead of not appearing. And I guess they get on after that. And things, you know, go a bit forward, but not too much forward. Since since he spends the night with her. And then... Well, he hasn't really gone that far yet. And he hasn't really told his girlfriend that he's not really... Well, Knife's child. That he's not really... And who calls their kid Knife's child? Like, what is that? <laughs> but he hasn't really told his girlfriend that he wants to break up with her. Because it's getting to the point where he does want to break up with her. Because normally, like... Like, when we first seen him together... It definitely really got on a lot. Especially when they played that game together. Which also makes a reference at the end, though. <laughs> like, it was really good at that game together, but then, you know, like, the second time we see him play, like, he's, he's barely even playing. His girlfriend even gets to, like, a solo round. And he's never got to that point as well. But basically, he just wants to break up with her, but he, can't, he finds it hard. But then, like, their their relationship um, with this with this new girl that he likes... Is going, you know, further and further. And he even gets to the point where I guess he gets to second base, but yeah, he's he's still not told her. But then like I guess uh, one of his friends tells him that he needs to tell her otherwise he's gonna tell someone who will just spread the news that he's seen two people. <laughs> but then there's that nosy girl who, you know, who's definitely gonna spread the news, like since she always finds out everything from, you know, you know Scott Pilgrim's roommate, so yeah, <laughs> he had to tell her, and she didn't really take it well. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get more into their relationship like at the end for my final thoughts, I guess. All right, so the scene where I guess the first evil ex shows up, and I think it's like the time where Scott Pilgrim was playing on like one of his shows with his rock band, and this guy just shows up out from nowhere. And also, Scott Pilgrim earlier on, like, got an email from, you know, this guy. <laughs> and he, he just skimmed it, he didn't even read it properly, even though it said, like, fight to the death. Like, he didn't really care what it was actually saying. And it's not, and it's not like he's going to take some of that literally serious, especially since he didn't even read it properly. <laughs> yeah. So then he has to fight this guy. He's able to beat him. And yeah, this this movie just has such great fight scenes. It's just animated so well. Well, not animated, but, you know. Great effects. It just has really good effects for its time. And it's not even that old, but, you know, back then, there wasn't, like, flawless, you know, movies with this, you know, type of uh, C CGI and stuff. It just did it right. Because it still used... It's not like it did a lot of CGI with people. It just added, like, effects around them. And it kind of worked. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. It worked perfectly. Yeah. But, yeah, this is this was a good first fight scene. For many other great fight scenes. But yeah, out of all the evil exes from from uh, Ramona, <laughs> he's definitely the best one. Uh, Chris Evans' uh, character, who he plays. Yeah, he's definitely the most entertaining, even though he doesn't really a proper fight. Because <laughs> he tries to show off to defeat Scott, but even though it looks like he's going to actually succeed, he fails. He also has stunt doubles who he uses to fight against Scott and he tries he tries to walk away afterwards but then you know Scott beats him fast and then that's when he tells him to do that day where he's skating down those railways but then it gets too much for him then you know he bails <laughs> Lol. and that's how he gets defeated so yeah even though like his character was really entertaining it wasn't really like a proper fight between you know him him and Scott kind of in the beginning but not really yeah but yeah he was still entertaining Especially with those fake movies as well. Seeing that. Since he's like a, I guess, a Hollywood star in this movie. Just like he is in real life. <laughs> and yeah, he's one of the bitches from one of the, you know, fake movies. Kiss me, I'm dying. Let's hope there's a heaven. <laughs> Lol. Coming soon. Alright, so. I'm getting closer to, I guess, the halfway mark. So yeah, you know, really, uh, Knife's, Knife's Child doesn't really take up the breakup well. <laughs> Like the way how she's talking about um, Ramona to her sister or something. Yeah, I think it's her sister. Yeah. She kind of wants to maybe make Scott Pilgrim jealous or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, she's trying to get Scott back, but 
I'm not really sure what her plan was. She even dyes her hair and stuff. <laughs> but near the end, I don't know if it was in any working. I sort of just went with that BS ending, but we'll get more to that in a moment. <clears throat> oh. Oh. I guess I'll be watching someone's stream after this. <laughs> but yeah. I just, I want to share my thoughts now, but I'm just, I'm just going to talk more about the main story first. And if, wait, what was this point at again? I can't remember if it, I can't remember if it was before they was gonna do before they was gonna fight those twins. Cause I can't remember which X is the verse so far. Cause there is the one you know who plays as Superman and Atom. Like I know that's coming up sometime after this scene. But it was basically gonna play against the panda. I think I know that. And I thought they wasn't gonna win, but they still do. So yeah, like at the same time, Scott's versing all these people, these seven evil exes, while he's also in the rock band and trying to be the best and get like a record deal. But yeah, I'm just gonna move on. There's also a scene where Ramona gets to use her weapon from the game, which is cool. I think she's like fighting, is it? Uh, I can't remember if she was fighting, Wait, who, she was, who was she actually fighting again? Was it um, one of her exes or? I just get mixed up with that one, but yeah. Because there was this person who attacked Scott before, but then it's actually, it's basically one of her exes, but it's a girl, but she also knows the weak spot of the girl. So I think it's hers, yeah. It's not any of Scott's, because Scott also has exes. So there's like, the recent one, you know, Knives, and then there's like one in the past who, but you know, she dumped him. Yeah. And we get to see her again along with the Superman item actor, yeah. Which you know Scott gets wrecked by him, but you know still finds a way to beat him, since he's since he has the power, like he has like this really strong power by being vegan. But then he tricks him into drinking something, which you know makes him not non-vegan, and then he just loses his power, <laughs> and that's how he defeats him. But yeah, there's no way he could have beat him legit, even using his guitar skills. He's still, I don't think that was still enough. But that's how he beats him, and then with this one like. He did get some help from his new girlfriend, Ramona. Knowing the weak spot, because he didn't really want to hit her, so just touching the weak spot was enough to defeat her. <laughs> but yeah, after he defeats those twins, I think this is the one that he fights afterwards. Since he uses uh, his rock band to defeat him and spawns this gorilla thing to fight the twins who spawn dragons, but you know, you know how that goes. He basically, basically used that gorilla thing and <laughs> it's just, I don't even know how to explain that moment, but it was, it was a cool scene. But yeah, he basically defeats the dragons and the band at the same time, the twins, the evil exes. So it seems like sometimes, uh, also, because he was there like uh, Gideon, so yeah, this is the guy Gideon, who's basically, I'm going to say it now, controlling um, Ramona. And he, he's the one who actually set up all the evil exes and why all this is happening. Yeah. So it's all from him. But for Scott to be killed, does he really want to do do all of that just for Scott? <laughs> yeah. So I guess no one can have her. Just as simple as people from her past, which, you know, she, she tells stories about them, which you'll see for the movie. Like, some of them are, like, from 7th and ninth grade. And he's just somehow able to <laughs> find them. In, like, two hours, he said. He assemble them together. The League of Seven Evil Exes, lol. <laughs> but, yeah. He's also, you know, controlling uh, the band's contract as well. If they're gonna go any further. But then, you know... I guess um, Scott Pilgrim's not really with that, but then he gets kicked out of the band and the youngest member replaces him. If he was even a member at that point, but he was getting better, so, yeah. And at this point, he's just, I guess, mad and depressed. But then later on, he just wants to, you know, face Gideon, since that's the last one he needs to defeat. Because he, he really wants to be with her. So yeah, when he first fights Gideon, <laughs> yeah, things don't really go that well. Uh, yeah, because he actually, well, Scott Pilgrim actually dies, but thanks to defeating one of the evil exes and getting a lot of, and I guess, enough points, which every time he defeats someone, he gets, like, points for it, like, in the game. So, like, one time he was able to get an extra life. Kind of like how he headbutts someone, then, you know, he gets these coins as points, yeah. 
I think that was the, you know, Atom actor when he defeated him. But most of, most of the evil exes when he defeats them, they turn into coins, lol. <laughs> and he just gets a lot of points for them. <clears throat> but yeah, like the first time he's fighting for love, and then he, he tends to lose. And, you know, he also kind of... At the same time, that's when Knives shows up and wants to fight Ramona. And then that like that kind of doesn't really go well. <laughs> but, you know, the second time he's able to do things by fighting for himself and actually explaining the whole situation better. Like, he's more aware of what he should do this time. And he's more successful that way. Also, Knives is also helping him fight, you know, Gideon. And it's kind of like from their training from when they used to play that game together. What they were so good at. <clears throat> and they defeat Gideon. But then he has to fight himself, and then he's able to somehow defeat that by getting on with it, which is funny. <laughs> lol. It's like they become friends. He becomes friends with himself, lol. So, yep, yeah, at the end, they, you know, defeat Gideon and, I guess, himself. And it seems like he's gonna end up with knives, but he decides to go with someone who's just about to walk away from him as well. Because I, I guess she came from America, and you know, this is Canada, this this movie's set in Canada. But yeah, she left America because things weren't, things weren't really working out, you know, there for her. So she thought she could get a fresh start, and then she meets Scott Pilgrim, then, you know, all that happens, then she kind of feels like the same thing happened, but then, I guess thanks to Knives, she decided to give up Scott, so I guess they could be together, Ramona and Scott. And to me, that shows that she was the real one, uh, Knives, like the one who should have been with Scott Pilgrim. And that's actually the alternate ending where they're together. They should have stayed with that ending, but oh well. I just, I am completing the game, so I don't know if there's any difference. Maybe he still ends up with Ramona. Or maybe there's a choice, but I don't know. Maybe one day when I play the game. Also, one more thing. Yeah, there's Kim, who I didn't really talk much about. Because I did say I was going to get back to her, but yeah. She seems to always be angry at Scott Pilgrim. But it's because, like, that's actually his ex. Who he used to be with. Some long time ago. <laughs> and he never really apologised, but he finally did it, you know. Before he fought Gideon. On his second try. And I guess she ap appreciated that, but yeah. She's a fun character. Alright, so that's my review of uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Hope you enjoyed it. Still a fun movie to watch, 10 years later. Kind of sucks that they got rid of the game. I would love to play that with four people, but it's kind of hard on per sec. Yeah. And trying to set up the PS, PS3 emulator with four players, that's definitely a big task. I just don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. Who knows, maybe one day. I'm still going to do at least a one-player playthrough on the game, but maybe one day, like, four-player, which would be awesome. But yeah, guys, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.